In this AutoCAD tutorial, I want to cover a few different topics concerning uh, solids and thickness. So what I have over here on the right is a very simple solid model. It's basically a couple of cubes with a solid pipe running into it. And then next to that is a simple surface um, that's clear because it has this grid pattern over it. And this here is, um, you know, it's just solid. There's there's no extra line work. If I would change that to conceptual, you'll see that they, they both exist as three-dimensional objects. This one's just a flat surface, however, sort of like, you know, a piece of paper or something like that. I'm just going to switch that back to wireframe. So if you were working and you wanted to create you know, very thin but solid walls uh, in an object, uh, basically a shell, there's a couple ways you could do that. Um, and one would be to actually thicken surfaces. Uh, so what I'm going to do is come up to the solid editing menu and I'm looking for this button right here. It's thicken. It converts a surface to a 3D solid. So if I click on thicken, what I can do is grab a surface, hit enter, and then I can specify how thick I would like that to be. If I'd like that to be two inches, I can just simply type in two, enter, and now what I have here is a solid that's two inches thick. These are not six individual surfaces, but it's actually a solid. And if I hover over that, you can see that pop-up tells me. Now, if I actually wanted to go through an object like this and create um, that basic shell type of structure, that would be a lot of work. Uh, but CAD actually has a function that makes that really easy. What I do is come up to that solid editing menu again, and in the lower right, there's a, a set of tools here, including shell. So if I grab shell, and select this cube structure as my 3D solid, which will also have this hole cut out for the pipe here. Hit enter. Then I just need to say the shell offset distance, so how thick I want that to be. If I once again say two inches, enter, you'll see that it's come and put a thick two inch shell all around the entire shape of the object, and now it will be hollow on the inside, but this exterior portion is still a two inch thick solid in the shape size that I created. If I go to x-ray, for example, you'll see that uh, with a 3D orbit here, I am able to go around and see that this entire object is still solid in terms of the two inch thick walls created, but there is an open airspace inside of that solid. So that's really, um, you know, the basics of creating either an empty space inside of a solid or converting a surface to a solid. Two different ways to get at, you know, a similar result depending on your modeling style.